Oh, he's playing. He's playing loading. No. No. Fucking playing EA, the game for the Xbox 360. So the main point. Oh my. Wait. What? The fog is clearing. It's dead space. Oh my god. So this is Dead Space, circa 2008, made by, published by, whatever it is, Electronic Arts. All right? It's a good one. I know what you're saying. Michael, you've already played Dead Space 2. Why go back? Well, because I've already played Dead Space 2, so I might as well play Dead Space. And Dead Space 3 comes out soon, I believe February 6th. Oh, look at this shit. Here's, here's the name of the thing. I believe it comes out February 6th. Today's like, hang on, let me check the date. December 29th, so it's just over a month away. I'm very excited for Dead Space 3, having just played it myself recently. I was like, oh, fucking top. Phenomenal. God damn it, that's annoying. Um, so, what we're gonna do here is play Dead Space 1. And I'm not gonna spoil it for you, because there's shit to spoil as you play it, if you've already beaten it. And again, it's shit that I spoiled already in Dead Space 2, my Dead Space 2 Let's Play. But assuming you haven't seen that Let's Play, we'll roll with it from there. So, there's gonna be some action going on and you'll be like my god like if you know you'll be like Michael's good he is good so the achievement I'm gonna be working for is epic tier 3 engineer which is beat on the hardest difficulty setting which is impossible I'm playing on Lindsay's gamer tag because you know I just started playing Dead Space 1 again and I've actually just beaten it but that's fine because I need to beat it once to unlock impossible mode see how this works it's all working together but I figured if I'm gonna play Dead Space I might as well fucking get achievements right and Dead Space is actually pretty easy to thousand. It's fun and it's pretty easy. So as you can see, beating the game once, all you need to do is uh, beat it again using only the plasma cutter, which I'm working on on uh, on a medium save file. But that's like a new game plus thing. Own every weapon and then just kill a bunch of enemies. Um, upgrade all your shit and then kill a bunch of enemies with all the weapons. So that's really pretty simple shit. But this is gonna be the bitch one. The upside is I have the tank pack uh, DLC. For, uh, it gives you, it gives you armor, like, from the get-go. Hang on a second here. It gives you awesome armor from the get-go, or at least at the end of chapter one, because you can't get it until you get to the store, and you find the store right at the end of chapter one. But, the way it works in this game is, just like Dead Space 2, you can only hold ten things when you start the game. And every time you upgrade your armor, you can hold more things, and it increases your defense, so it, like, reduces the damage you take from attacks. Uh, this armor in the tank pack that I purchased fucking years ago, uh, starts you with full 25 slots, which is awesome, and it also gives you an armor, uh, rating of 60%, whereas you can see here, this is level 6 suit, this is my new game plus, this thing only gives you 30%, and that's after you beat the game, so, you might say the tank suit's an un unfair advantage, because it is an unfair advantage, just the whole fucking point of it, but I'm playing on Impossible, and I don't give a rat's ass. I use my Collector's Edition armor in my Dead Space 2 Let's Play, so fuck it, I'll use it here. Now, why did I just fucking load that game and then quit? Well, because if you notice right in the beginning when I hit New Game, Impossible wasn't an option yet, so sometimes the game gets fucking retarded and, like, forgets that it's there, because you have to beat the game once to unlock it. But as long as you just load a game that you've already beaten, like that was round two, so that was a new game plus, the game was like, oh, okay, I'm fucking stupid, let me give him impossible. So now that we have impossible, let's fucking play impossible, right? That's good, you know? Not too bright. It always says, like, adjust the slider so you can barely see it. Fuck that, because I'm always, like, squinting and shit. And I realize, especially for a game like this, it should be dark, but to, like, scare you, like, woo, but, like, when I can't see the goddamn fucking, uh, like, hallway in front of me, no. No good. I don't like it, and I don't fucking want it. So there. And the game's also started, if you haven't noticed. There's the Kalyon. It's a ship. This whole fucking beginning part, uh, you cannot skip. And just like Dead Space 2, it's good. Dead Space 2 is better, uh, the opening. Dead Space 2 in general, I like more than Dead Space 1. I love this game. I like Dead Space 2 better. And I find I'm in the minority, which is weird, because almost everyone I talk to likes Dead Space 1 more. I don't know. And this, I was, this was only reconfirmed when... Uh, re -offer. <laughs> silly me, when I played this again, just recently, shh, cutscene. You burned me, bitch, you didn't start yet. I gave you a shh, and you gave me nothing. I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. Oh, here we go. Oh, but like Dead Space 2, it's great, but would you play the game again, like on New Game Plus, or second game, third game, fourth game? You can never fucking skip this. So the whole time, it's just like, ah, goo goo ga ga Fucking ga goo goo Hey, what's up? I wish I could talk to you. Oh, look at that. I already fucking turned on subtitles for you. Sorry. 
You're welcome, dude. I'm excited. This is going to be the best Let's Play yet on my channel. That's not saying much. Holy shit, Nicole. I'm giving a speech and you're still going. My god. It's such a little thing. And you can't just give me this one little thing. <sighs> Haven't made a video in a few weeks. Uh, been fucking busy. Case in point, and why I'm playing this again. Two weeks ago, uh, I went to LA with Jack for uh, for work for Sheeman Hunter. Got to play Dead Space 3. It was awesome, but couldn't make a video that weekend because I was doing shit. And then the following week, I went home to New Jersey for Christmas. That was fun times, extraordinary. Also got engaged while I was there. Whoa, not in that shithole New Jersey, in the shithole New York City, which is a shithole. Went to see Spider-Man on Broadway. Fucking tweeted about seeing Spider-Man on Broadway and getting engaged. The tweet about getting engaged got so many favorites and re retweets that I guess the Twitter from the Spider-Man show on Broadway was like, man, this, we're getting a lot of retweets. Let's fucking reply to this guy. So I got a reply from uh, Spidey on Broadway is the fucking their Twitter account. And he was like, hope you had a superhero holiday on the East Coast. Uh, congratulations on the engagement or something like that. And I was like, fucking nice. Shout out from Spider-Man. Oh, also the game's happening right now. Hey, fuck you. Okay, this is, I'm talking about me. I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna fucking ruin her life. Her dad was like, well, whatever. Your problem. And I was like, what? It's Lindsay, by the way, that I got engaged to. Anyway. On to Dead Space, right? Because that's why we're here. Maybe this will be a little bit of a long part. One, because, you know, it's been a, like two weeks since I put a video out. And, you know, I, I sorry. I sorry. Uh, two, I don't know when I started. So maybe I'll just play till the end of chapter one. Oh, shit. The thing about the tank suit, as you can see here, is I'm not wearing it. Um, I already pointed it out. You can't get it until the end of chapter one. So chapter one, I got to play... Balls to the walls. Hey, so we're all gonna hit the hole, and she's like, fucking. He's like, switch to manual, and she's like, no, are you crazy? These two bicker the entire fucking game. Like, I'm a, I, I assumed we went on some sort of mission before, because as you saw at the beginning of the game, it like loaded out the crew. There's, there's Isaac Clark, who is the main character, the protagonist that you control. Um, this bitch, Kendra. And then this other dude, Hammond. But you imagine, like, I don't know, they'd been on missions before, they know each other, whatever. Apparently they fucking hate each other. Sh look, they're like yelling at each other now. She's looking at her, look at her, look at her! She's about to fuck him up. He is about to get his hair pulled if he had any. She's gonna put some extensions on him and rip him out. Oh, and then there's like these two nameless assholes who weren't even on the, like, the crew list, so... That doesn't bode well for them. Uh, I spun the camera around there. A lot of people don't realize you can do that, or at least not the first time you play the game, but you can actually see Isaac's face right at the beginning of the game, as I just demonstrated, because besides that, you don't see his face uh, for the entire game until you beat it. So I don't know if it was just like, ooh, look, you know, you can see it now, but you can also see it later. I don't know what the idea of that was, but, yeah, no. Um, fun fact about this game, and I just learned recently, Jack was telling me about it actually, there's apparently like, <clears throat> hidden things in the game, like hidden symbols, and if you like, shine your gun, which has a flashlight on it, it makes like a little ping sound, and blah 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 blah, like through the wonders of the internet, um, you can transcode these sounds into like, something that they could play back or decode on a computer or something like that, and it turns out there's cheat codes for this game, and it's funny because, it's now, this game's been out almost five years, or a little over four years, and I never knew this game had cheat codes. And by cheat codes, I mean, like, you can hit start, hit button commands, and it'll give you, there's, like, a, a few different ones you can do, but you can get a power node, which is, or two power nodes, which are, like, upgrades in this game, um, and various amounts of money, basically equaling, um, I want to say it's, like, 18, oh, it's like $18,000 in credits, and then two power nodes, and power nodes are worth like 10 grand. So essentially, it's only like $38,000, and they don't disable achievements, but you can only do them once. So it's like, okay, it's, alright, you give me $38,000, which is nothing in the grand scheme, scheme of the game. But it's like, you give me $38,000, that's kind of cool, but it doesn't really help that much. But the other two things you can do is, fucking whack the mic there, you can uh, hit a fucking button to instantly refill your stasis. 
So you can have infinite stasis the entire game, which essentially wins the fucking game. And you can do that on impossible, I learned. Um, and it won't disable the achievement for beating it on impossible. So I was like, well, shit. Now I really don't feel bad about using the tank suit. It costs, I think, I think it was like 400 points. It's cheap fucking DLC. But yeah, it makes impossible way easier. But I don't know. I feel like using that cheat code method is like absolutely as far as you can go cheating. Because if you play Dead Space 2, if you watch my Dead Space 2 Let's Play, you'll know uh, Stasis, what Stasis does is it slows down fast objects and more importantly enemies, so you can kick the shit out of them, you know, while they're basically standing still. They're fucking fighting again. She's like yelling, he's like, um, but even in Dead Space 2, your Stasis very slowly but surely regenerates. It never regenerates in this game by itself. The only way you can uh, restore Stasis is by using a Stasis pack, which is uh, like a consumable item you find, or by finding like a little charge station. And uh, so, especially in this game, having uh, the ability to instantly refill your stasis whenever you want makes impossible mode much much easier but we're not going to be doing that shit here that look good. no siri no it doesn't look good cuz the action's about to start i've been jibber jabbering i'm well going to continue jibber jabbering cuz that's a let's play and that's what i'm going to do the entire fucking time but there's going to be shit going on now while i'm talking about it and also gave you subtitles dude come on Resident Evil 4 you got fucked cuz it didn't have subtitles i'm going to drink a glass of water here nothing's going to happen probably what was that? Did you hear that? I'm not sure what impossible setting implies as far as difficulty. I think you just take more damage. As opposed to Dead Space 2, it didn't look like that guy's gonna get murdered and he got murdered. It didn't look like uh, you get any less like ammo drops. Cause I know for a fact in Dead Space 2, like guys that'll drop like like a six bullet clip um, is like two bullets on the harder difficulties. And I don't think that th that's the case in this one. So I think it's just like damage dealt and received and shit. But, oh, as you can see, I'm already missing health there. There's nothing you can do here, so just fucking haul ass to this elevator. It's always frightening when you have to wait for doors to open like this. It's like, uh, spin around, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Whoa, there we go. We made it, guys. Ain't nothing. Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, thank God. Elevators of the future, man. They will fuck you up. Elevators, any kind of door, basically. And I said this in Dead Space 2. It's a death trap. It will crush you regardless of the if you're standing there or not. Like, it's 2012. And I say 2012. The technology has been perfected for quite some time. If you walk out of an elevator while the door's closing, it's like, oh, sorry. Let me open that back up for you. It doesn't, uh, you know, crush you to death or fucking, like, squish your limbs off. But hey, you know, what do I know? This is the, this is the future. So, we have a plasma cutter now, which is amazing. It's the best gun in the game, and only one of two guns I'm going to use. Cry about it now. Get it out of your system. I'm only going to use the plasma cutter and the line gun for two reasons. One, they're both fucking amazing. Uh, and two, the game is pretty smart, and more or less, there's a very, very rare occasion, but more or less only gives you ammo of the gun that you're carrying. So now that I only have the plasma cutter, I'll like only pick up plasma cutter ammo. Once I get the line gun, it'll give me both. And even if you have more guns, you can, and you know, say like you have a pulse rifle, but you don't want ammo. You bought it because you're stupid. Why would you ever buy the pulse rifle and use it? You can put that in your safe and the game will know you're not carrying it and give you less ammo for it. Almost to the point of like almost no ammo. So anyway, you only really need these two guns to beat the game. Also, the other good thing about the tank pack is I get a free line gun. So I think it's slightly more powerful than the regular line gun that's in the game. You still have to upgrade it and shit, but you get it from the store for free. Same thing for the tank suit. It saves me all the money having to buy suits throughout the game because I'm going to get this one right at the beginning for free. Um, this is a small health pack. It will just give you one little health bar. As you can see on your back, like a little, you know, you can basically tell what one bar is. The first thing I'm going to upgrade is the plasma cutter because you want to deal the most damage as quickly as possible. And because I'll have the tank suit, it'll already, you know, help me out a little bit in the damage department as far as me not getting my ass kicked. So I'm not going to be heavily upgrading into the rig right away. Um, unlike Dead Space 2, every single enemy does not drop something in this game. It's random. So you can kill three enemies and get nothing. Now, those odds are very bad. Poor, like it's it's not a good chance that'll happen. They do drop a lot of shit, but still, every single guy doesn't drop something. As you just saw, that guy I just killed didn't give me jack shit. In Dead Space 2, every single enemy you kill gives you something. 
Yeah, I know how to do it. I just told everyone how to do it. I've well, okay. There's a there's a quick command that you can just hit X and heal, but it doesn't let you choose which health pack you want. So you know you can get fucked and it'll use like a medium or a large if say you maybe only wanted to use a small health pack. If you go into the menu, you know obviously you get to pick what you want to use. Oh hey, what's up? I made it. Hey guys, look, I found this gun. We ran into more of them on the way over here. I oh, okay? why are you looking at your wrist? I'm right here. Oh, they're fighting again. Oh shit, dude, she's about to come at him. Look at her. She's standing off. Oh, he's he's looking at me. No, he's looking at her. He's looking at me. He's looking at me again. Hey. Oh, you mean first I have to do everything ever? You're crazy, Hammond. I will get you out of here alive. Yeah, don't make promises you can't keep, buddy. What? Oh, she's pissed now. Oh, check out her ass, though. It's nice. The only dialogue Isaac ever has in this game is first person, right? So, or internally. So, if you go to your objectives, the personal journal on the right is Isaac talking. That's the only dialogue or anything you'll ever see from him is if you go in here, which means you'll never see it because I'm not going to do it. But yeah, this is him, like, talking to himself. We've been attacked! Exclamation point. I'm cut off from Hammond and Kendra. Yeah, no shit, Isaac. Also, they're right there. We found them. Don't worry. I got you. I cradled you. Dude, if I'm going to do all of Chapter 1 in one part, it's going to be a long part. I, uh, this game should is, is shorter than Dead Space 2, I'm almost positive. So unless I suck weebies at this and it takes me forever, it should be less parts. I'm pretty sure my Dead Space 2 Let's Play was like... Somewhere around like 19 parts, I don't remember. And fun fact, that's actually... Uh, fucking part 1 of that came out about 2 years ago in like 2 weeks? It was like uh, the second week of January, I'm not sure. Obviously you can go check out the fucking YouTube video and see when it is. Um, guys laying like this are always alive, you know, if they're like fully formed or whatever. So you can shoot them up and they'll be like, what? Why do you do that? Leg shot, leg shot. What you want to do is uh, always fucking go for the limbs. They'll die faster and if you chop their legs off, obviously they can have to fucking crawl around so they're uh, way slower. Same method works in this game as it did in Resident Evil and Dead Space. When you upgrade your ammo, you get all of the upgraded ammo for free. So that's pretty awesome. Benson's talking about shit. The uh, the objective marker is still amazing in this game because, you know, one, it tells you exactly where to go, and two, it'll tell you where you don't have to go. So it's a great way to go down, like, dead ends and make sure you find all the, you know, ammo laying around and stuff like that. Also, oh, dead body! It fell down. It falled on top of me. It didn't actually hit me, but it fell in front of me. That was pretty startling in itself. Right, so that guy, right, I picked up the audio log, right? It said shoot the guy in the limbs. Then, Hammond just called, said shoot them in the limbs, because, you know, it's faster. And then, the game called and said, conserve ammo by dismembering them. Like, I fucking get it already! I've already killed, like, fucking three of them. Shoot the limbs! Stop fucking telling me! You know, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it's like my mother. She just fucking, oh, that, 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 like a broken fucking record. Am I right? Here we go. Gonna get some kinesis up in this. Kinesis up in this, bitch. Kinesis up in this, bitch. Some more ammo. <clears throat> Did I say kinesis or kinesis? I know I said kinesis, but now I can't remember if I was joking or I just said it. Eh, I'm alright with it. So this door will fucking actually hurt you to the point of it, it can kill you if you take enough damage. So you just have to stasis it and run away, but... Here's a recharge station, and you don't really need to do this because I know there's a recharge station essentially right in the other room, but I'm going to be stupid and just show you how I, you always want to try and keep it full. So, blast it. Grab some stasis. Like is oh, and then haul ass through. Right? So, I was able to refill it. Because I'm fucking clever like that. Do not be afraid to stasis, especially on impossible, because people will fuck you up and do a lot of damage. This is what I was talking about with the objective, right? So it's like, oh, you gotta go that way. So you know what I'm gonna do? Not go that way, because that means there's shit over here. Like this. See what this is? This is shit. Where was it? It was over here, where the game told me not to go. Fucking lights. Whoa, lights out! What? What's that? Shh, what? Alright, so go that way. That means there's a, there's a potty room over here. And into the bathroom. Look at this. Fucking 12 bullets over here. That's why you guys do explore. Right? And health. Oh my god. It's like the cornucopia. I didn't know I was playing Hunger Games. Am I right? Uh, fucking 3,000 credits. The All the shit on the ground like that is is like definite. Like it's always there. 
but the shit inside boxes, enemy drops, and, like, cabinets and stuff, I think, are, like, always random. Module should be able to help you yeah, my stasis module will help, Kendra. So here's a node. These look just like they did in Dead Space 2, or I guess they should say they look in Dead Space 2 just like they did in this one, so now it makes sense that they still look like this. But that's how you upgrade your shit. Uh, there's a free one right there. There are doors in this one similar to Dead Space 2, and that's the exact same thing, not similar, uh, where it costs you one node to get in, but the, I'm pretty sure they're way less frequent, and a lot of times they're a lot less rewarding. I still open them all anyway, so I still try and always keep one power node on me so I can open the door when the time comes, but for the most part, they're not as good as Dead Space 2, as far as I can remember. So now that he's stasis, you can just fucking do that. And then, especially because he's still stasis, I would never melee or stomp when a dude is alive. But he can't do shit when he's stasis. So if it can save you a bullet, fucking whack him. You know what I mean? Stasis rooms, and by stasis rooms I mean rooms that have the recharge in, the, in them, are the best rooms. Because you can just hit it over and over and over again. And you never have to worry about like, oh man, I hope I don't need that stasis later. Because you won't. Because it'll be full before you leave the room. So again, slap that guy around a little bit. He's still not dead yet. And he's still not dead. There we go, he's dead. So I'm cutting it close. They will whack the crap out of you. That's why melee sucks. Because like even if you're punching a guy, pretty much at any point, they can be like, no, and just fucking hit you. And you're boned. But with stasis, it's much more difficult for them to do that. Let's head back up here. Refill my stasis. That thing connected, lickety split. This thing, I don't know, it's fucking stupid, so it won't. So like right when it's near the end, click the, uh, hit the stasis. And then once it's locked in place, you'll be able to uh, hit this little screen here like that. Boop, boop, boop. This takes a while to recharge, right? Like, as you can see, I pushed it, and you have to wait for, like, the little button to pop back up. So I'm just going to head over to the corner here. Don't know if there's any more enemies in this room or not. Not that it matters. Oh, dude, the tram's blocking everything? All right, don't worry. Isaac will fucking do everything, as always. This whole game is um, clever ways for them to just tell you to do everything. And doing everything requires showing up somewhere and pushing a button. Look at that guy busting on out. No, no, oh! Boosh! Boosh! Oh shit, boosh! Get fucking bitch slapped. That's also an achievement. Uh, I already have it on this profile. But if you can melee kill 30 enemies, yeah. But as you can see, I'm already saving bullets, and I haven't been hit yet. Stasis is phenomenal, and you can tell why, you know, if you have unlimited stasis, it's fucking, you're, you know, the game's easy as shit. And even in Dead Space 2, you say, it rec oh, it recovers in Dead Space 2, so this is just letting them recover in Dead Space 1. But Dead Space 2, it still takes forever to recover. You know, you gotta wait with your dick in your hand while, you know, your stasis comes back. This, you could be like, bam, 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 hit pause, hit a fucking button combo, and then you immediately have it back. Like, there's zero downtime whatsoever. Somebody is fucking faffing about, and then I don't know where they are. These enemies coming up, they're also in Dead Space 2. They're fucking pieces of shit, and I hate them, just because, like, the way they're shaped is weird, and uh, it's hard to fucking kill them, and they're always like, no, you're a jerk. And I'm like, no, you're a jerk. Oh, God. And they leap across the fucking room like that. Oh, all right, Stasis, you. Oh, dude, you got fucking brained. Get the guy, get the guy, get him, get him, get him, squish him, squish him, squish him! Oh, this guy's gonna get unstasis, but that's okay. Bam, hit him again. Oh, you're running somewhere? Right to your own fucking death! That's where you're going! We, uh, actually kill you. Be far more impressive. And squish, and you know what? Bam, again, because there's a stasis right in the corner, so there's no reason not to do it. Give me, give me fucking stuff. Nothing. He gave me nothing. I killed him, he dropped no gubbins. Got robbed, but hey, you know what? Bam. Didn't get hurt. So far, so good on the impossible run. Everyone's like, wow, Michael's making it look so easy. You're right, I am. I'm actually doing really well. And once I get that tank suit, it's going to get way fucking easier than, you know, this, which is already pretty easy. Shut up! No, I'm just that good. I'm glad I just played the game again, too, because I'm not, like, completely... Not that you can get lost, because you can follow the, you know, objective thing, but... Still, I have my bearings in the game, so I shouldn't be dying 8 million times, but, you know, we'll see. I did beat it on normal, not impossible. Because it's impossible! Get it? I do! -da 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 -da. I'm only going to save it at the end of every uh, part, like when I stop. Just because, 
you know, Resident Evil standard Isaac. of like, if I fuck up, I have to replay it. it Isaac, like it's Kendra. No shit! Lot. Who the hell else would be calling me on the goddamn radio besides Hammond? And I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure I know when it's Hammond calling me. He's got kind of a distinct, not Kendra-like voice. Fucking idiot. Dude's all up in this bitch. Damn it. See, like, if you miss the, the fucking legs, like, it really bones you. Because they take a lot of body shots to kill. Fuck, there was also explosives back there. But I missed shooting. Explosive actually don't work really as well as you'd think they would, too. Oh, God. Like, they blow up good, but they, it actually doesn't do that much damage. You dead? Sometimes they'll be sneaky, and you'll, uh, like, kill them, and they'll stop moving. Like, ugh, I'm totally dead. But they're not. They're just joshing you. Okay, so I think a dude should jump up or something. No, is he behind me? Yeah, he is. Okay. Boosh! Look at that! That guy was standing, like, right on top of it. Though he did die in a couple of hits, though. I'll, you know, I'll allow it. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, I'm not positive, but I feel like, just playing this again, I feel like there's more enemies, uh, coming at you at once in Dead Space 2. Like, you get swarmed a lot more. I could be wrong. I mean, even Dead Space 2, I haven't played in, like, two years. While this game, I haven't played in, you know, almost four years. But, I just felt like there was more enemies in Dead Space 2. Fun fact, that's all. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just kind of like threw my hands like, oh, and I did it again. I did it again. I reenacted what I was doing as I was explaining it, and I hit the fuck. Ah, fucking forget it. You don't care. Nobody cares. Oh, there's more guys? Look at this. Just try and lead him back here for this pretty much useless barrel. No, we can do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. It is your destiny. Boosh! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know, I'll take it. I'm doing really good on ammo here. You get ammo, it's always good, because if you hit him in the limbs and shit, it's always good. Yeah, ammo is good. Ammo good! If you make sure you hit him in the limbs and shit, for better than worse, like as far as the odds go, you can gain ammo from killing people. Like if they drop a clip that's worth six bullets, but it only takes me three or four to kill you, not too fucking shabby. And I've been doing that pretty spectacularly thus far in this Let's Play. This is probably like some of the best playing I've ever done in a Let's Play. It'll fade quickly, don't worry about it. But, till then, I'm gonna fucking ride that high. Sip a Mountain Dew, hang on. Ah, so good. Also, about my wedding, uh, Yoink will be my best man. Oh, shout out to Incredulous York for being my best booty. Look at this guy. Are you gonna fucking start something? Not without limbs, you won't, sucker! Oh, he got me. See, I went in and I tried to fucking, you know, save some bullets. Look at that. One fucking hit. Alright, don't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, they're behind me too now. Impossible is a dangerous game, man. That's why I just hit the X button to heal, just in case I get whacked again. Because, like, it looks like that I would die if I got hit again. So, holy crap. I tried to save, like, one bullet. Noted. Definitely, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa. Just like Dead Space 2, you know, I like it. I, it definitely adds a horror element that, like, you know, when you're checking your menu, you're still in the game. People can still come after you. Stasis packs are very fucking useful, uh, especially on Impossible. Being able to refill it instantly and not get your ass torn, you know, torn up is very good. God damn, I'm already full. All right, uh, might as well use this just because I can. And this is why you want to get, you know, the next suit of armor as soon as possible because now I can't carry shit. And the thing about carrying shit is you want to carry everything because all the shit you're not going to use, even extra ammo, extra health, extra everything. I'll have a lot of extras. I hoard. I'm a fucking hoarder. Get the fuck out of here, fool. You can sell them for money and basically use that money to buy power nodes. So, like, you think of everything in the unit of 10,000, and the way you, like, pick up and discard items is the same way. So, like, if my inventory's full, and there's a stasis pack, right? That's worth 2,500. I'll drop a small health pack for it, because a small health pack only sells for 1,000. So, you always want to kind of just carry the most valuable things. Y'all you know I mean? Y'all you know I mean. Pick up my data board. Grab some more health. Grab a second fucking power node in here. Now, there's a bench right there, and I can upgrade on. And I will demonstrate 
this part about with the ammo only because I'm pretty sure guys will pop out now that I've been in this room So it's the perfect time to uh, to point this out if I can kill these dudes without reloading So I have two nodes I'll use both because I'm about to buy another one So I'm not worried about not carrying one but first thing you want to upgrade is damage I mean it's fucking right there It's the very first thing you can upgrade for the plasma cutter and again It's the only guns you're gonna be using is this and the line gun uh, throughout the whole game so I have another node. I could upgrade capacity. She's all like, oh, I'm a stupid bitch. Da -da 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 -da. No, open the door. Come back this way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yep. There you go. You're dead. Okay, so that guy's dead. Don't reload. This guy's over here. Bam. 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 Okay, gotta reload. Gotta reload. That guy's now dead. Is there a third guy that'll make it worth my while? See, I didn't want to reload because the whole point I'm trying to make is I can upgrade and get free ammo, but it's not worth getting fucking murdered over. So, if a dude's running at you, just fucking reload. Just doing a quick sweep, see if anybody's around. It sucks because it only took me one more bullet and I could have... Oh, no, there we go. This guy will make it worth our while. Saving the day. Uh, I, I did something you shouldn't do there. Don't switch legs. Because the damage ain't going to carry over. So, like, I shot him, like, three times in one leg. That guy took ten shots to kill. Like, that sucks. And then I didn't get ammo from him. It'll work out here because I'm going to upgrade this shit. But don't shoot him three times in one leg and then the other leg because you're just wasting bullets. I don't know why I did that. So I only have one shot in the plasma cutter here. I love doing this in any game that you can. I love taking advantage of the system. Fucking upgrade my capacity. It used to be 10 uh, bullets in my clip. Now it's 12. But wait, folks. He went from having one bullet to fucking 12. Whoa! So I just got 11 free plasma cutter bullets. And that's that. Uh, like, perfect example. This, this is worth 2,500 as well. Medium health pack. This is worth 2,500... Um, I'm not sure how much the 25 of these are worth. I want to say six of them is worth like 1,200. So this is probably the most valuable, but I could be wrong. Regardless, it's I know it's more valuable than the normal med pack, which is 1,000. So try and use it. I don't need it because I have full health. So fuck it. Just drop it and grab the medium. It's just, you know, more val it's more valuable that way. There's no reason not to do that. And the game's telling me to go this way. Boy, I feel foolish. We're almost done with uh, with uh, chapter one, I think. No, I lied. We still have a bit of a uh, bit of a ways to go. All right, so long part one, as I said, I'm all right with that. Uh, from here on out, I'm gonna split them up, probably like half hour or so parts, like I did with Dead Space Two. Um, if you're wondering where Shadows of the Damned is, it's you know on hold for now. I'm ready to film the next part, but as all the other reasons I mentioned, I've been super busy and Lindsay wasn't available like right now this second to record that part I'd like to record as many of those with her as possible because that was the whole point of the series was to record with her so I figured until then I'll start Dead Space and this will be my second let's play that I'll have on the side anyway so I'll probably be alternating back and forth hopefully when I get in the swing of doing uh, Shadows again between Dead Space and Shadows and this will just be something that I'll be able to do by myself when she's not around to fucking listen to me and do everything I tell her to do because that's her job now oh god see that game's good that scared the duty out of me. Duty's been scared out. Alright, back in this bitch. Boom! Put that fucking piece in there. Come over here. Hit a button. What did it do? Uh, save the day. That's what. Tram car arrived, bitch nugget. This is good that I have full stasis. I'll probably use one of these stasis packs coming up. There's going to be a part where there'll be a fair amount of dudes coming at me. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky yeah, who cares? It just left. Whatever. Isaac, get back to the carry on and prep it for launch. All right, don't worry. I'll go back to the fucking ship, guys, where the monsters attacked and killed like all our other crew. Oh, dude, you're out of your league. Confidence in me is pretty noted. Fighting and they're fighting and they're fighting. Still fighting. Exactly what I am going to do. Dude, he is a man with a mission. He can't be reckoned with. Don't test him, fool. Testify. Right? Look familiar? We're heading back to the beginning where we ran away like fucking cowards, except now we have a gun. I'll be like, ba 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 ba! Yeah, they ain't stand no chance. They got nothing on Isaac. Clock, brother! I'm very excited to be playing this game again. Fucking back, let's playing. Doing Dead Space. 
Everyone's like, yeah, Michael's doing the same old shit. It's all good in the hood, just like it should. Speaking of good in the hood, saw Django Unchained. I say good in the hood, and speaking of which, because Django's black, and I thought like I should mention it, you know? Fucking amazing movie. You should check it out. That's all I'll say about it. I say a lot more about it, me and others, on our very popular and very well-received podcast, Internet Box Podcast. New episodes on iTunes every Monday. Well, Monday-ish, when we actually make it. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, god damn, that was close. No, I'm, there was no lag, I just knew he was behind me. I remember there was a dude behind me, and just went, oh, I should turn around now. Uh, so fucking, yeah, we're talking about Django and Chain on the podcast, and it's a good movie, so you should watch it. This guy's got their asses kicked. So, so far, I've only been hit once, besides the intro, and that was when I got greedy and tried to save bullets. Which is usually how I get my ass kicked, by getting greedy. We're going to try to get the command computer. Breaking boxes and stuff. Some fucking monies. I love monies because it's great. Monies is awesome. And it doesn't take up inventory space. So you can always fucking carry it. Don't worry about that. Bu those bullets. I'm sure we'll be able to pick those up in a moment. This box, you're fucked. Okay, I lied. I can never, ever, 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 ever break that box with my foot. And then he can't hit it when he swings. So I was about to say you're fucked. Just shoot it and move on. And then I made a fool out of myself by breaking it on my first try. Oh, fucking... Oh, he's behind me? Yeah, he's behind me. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. These guys suck when they get up really up close because they're really hard to, like, hit their legs and shit. God damn. Oh, there's more guys. Where are they? Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Oh. No, okay. Sometimes you get lingering sound effects and you think there's more enemies when there's not. And that's when you proceed to just poo-poo and shit. Alright, so I'm getting this thing prepped and ready to launch. Not quite sure how that's gonna work, but Hammond told me to do it, so I guess I have to do it. I'm gonna go prep it. Let's get prepped! Yes. Oh, that's bad. Uh, oh, alright. Okay, let me just, uh... Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, okay. Dude, I didn't even know you could get hurt there. God damn it. I was being an asshole and not making a straight beeline for the door because I knew the thing was going to explode and I didn't want to spoil it for you. So I intentionally went like, oh no, and didn't run away. And I got fucking burned! Fuck! I got burned, physically and metaphorically. Like, you know, they burned me for the audience. So I hope you're happy. Oh, hit it. There we go. That'll work. I'm not going to stop them because, like, we don't got time for that shit and there'll be more dudes coming, but I will fucking freeze them both next to each other and go to town on their asses. Bam, leg shot, leg shot, leg shot. Oh, you're D-leg. It's your arm, not your leg, but I'll shoot it anyway. You're d whatever it is. Uh, the standard Necromorphs, I forget what they're called, way less dangerous than these dudes. Like, standard Necromorphs are fucking chump pushovers. Especially once you get your shit, like, adequately upgraded. They die very quickly. Bitch showing up also means you done good and everybody's dead. I mean, it's like, <laughs> bitch here. No, it's like, oh, nope, fighting again. This changes everything. This changes everything. Uh, 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 uh. Can you access the command computer? So now I'm just hanging. Out. Oh, point this out now because we'll be back here much later in the game, like chapter like 11 or whatever. Oh, there's some shit down there that I can't get because I don't have Kinesis yet. But right there is Peng. That's an achievement to get Peng's treasure. It's an achievement, and it's there worth, is. I believe, thirty or thirty-five thousand yeah, dollars in the store. Fire. So, fucking okay, grab it and sell it when you're back here in chapter luck. eleven, I think. Deceased. Oh, the captain's dead. We gotta go find his corpse and fuck it. I can't access that information. Or something like that. Fuck around with it. Fuck it. Uh, politics, you know. Semantics. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sending the tram back to your location. Fucking collecting stuff. Mm -hmm. See, I told you it wouldn't be a problem uh, holding shit. Right, game tells me to go that way. No way, I'll go this way. What's this way? Uh, fucking secrets reveal. It's the potty. There's a potty room. Anything in the potty? Is there any poo poo? Any poo poo? Fucking holy shit! Look at that! A large health pack! So, a small gives you one, a medium gives you, I believe, two, a large gives you full. Which isn't that big a deal because I have four health here. But you can upgrade it to at least seven, if not eight. I think you can upgrade your health like 100% um, more than that. So, having a large health pack, you know, when you have two out of like eight health is pretty amazing. Once again, on impossible mode, it will be particularly useful. So, I'm going to carry a large with me anyway, like at all times. I'll probably carry like one large and two mediums to start on impossible mode. 
and then just like whatever ones I pick up. Because every time you go back to the store, which we're going to be getting to soon, you can uh, put shit in storage and stuff. As the game's telling me right now. It's like I segued into it. This also signifies the end of every single chapter. Every time you get on a tram, like when you first show up to a tram area, you're done with the chapter. So just know that before you leave. Uh, it gives you a store and a bench here, but I think every single beginning of every chapter gives you one as well, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm probably mistaken. Boop, head on to the store. Okay, alright, we already have a large and three mediums, so I'll just put one medium away. Two stasis packs is good to hold. Bullets are alright for now. So, this is from the DLC that I bought. I get the flamethrower, which I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But I get the line gun and the tank suit. So, tank suit will be first. Check this shit out. One, it's free. Gives me 25 slots, which is 15 more than I have now. And 60% um, armor. Now, I don't know if that means, like, flat out 60% damage reduction or what. But, as I pointed out in the beginning of the video, it's twice as good as anything the game gives you. And you now have it from the beginning of the game. So, this will make my impossible uh, run way more manageable. And much more enjoyable. Because it's hard as dick playing and doing Let's Play anyway. So, yeah, fuck you. I'm going to use it to my advantage. So, then I'll grab a free um, line gun. Nope. See, look. Line gun normally costs nine grand. Sorry, I almost bought it. But, since I have this particular pack, the tank line gun is free. So, I'll now start getting free. Uh, line gun ammo just as I walk around just because I can uh, I'm not gonna sell that yet, but I will buy because I have 18.5 now that I don't need to buy a gun I don't need to buy any armors throughout the game Essentially unless I need like oh fuck I'm out of bullets I need to buy bullets which thankfully this game you know lets you do and you'll find schematics for all the other ammo and shit Like eventually I'll find a schematic for the line gun But until that point all I need money for is power nodes or like if I need health again You can buy health so as long as you have money, you're not totally fucked. So I have one power node. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to hold on to it as, like, the power node that'll be, uh, you know, used if I need to open a door. But that said, you know, tank suit, air 70 seconds. That doesn't change. Armor 60%. I got all these slots. Not a bad fucking start at all. That was a solid first part. Um, I'm at full health. I have ammo to spare. I have health to spare. We're good to go. Let's play as a fucking rockin'. Chapter 1 is done. And that's about it, folks. So when it asks me to fucking save the game right here, I'm going to be like, yeah, save the game. I'll fucking put it down here on slot fucking four, just so you know it's totally different. And there's part one of my exciting, enthralling Dead Space Let's Play. Tune in next time for part two, chapter two, intensive care unit. More like intensive Let's Play video that you'll be watching. Right? I'll wait till he's off the train, and then that's where I'll end it. Because it'll be less awkward that way, right? Oh, shit. Look at that bitch. Let me check the map. Hang on. Yeah, save points two rooms away. away. Not away. It's not array. It's... Alright, we'll talk to her next time. That bitch.